Okay, guys, so once you create an account on Coinbase and log in, this is going to be the dashboard on the desktop version. As you can see, there is a chart here with a price breakdown. The price changes over the last hour, the last day, last week, the last month, the last year, and all time. And you can see different price fluctuations throughout the day, throughout the week, etc. And again, you can see the price changes for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin as well. So right now, we're going to leave it on Bitcoin. Underneath that, you'll see the recent activity, which just has your recent transactions of buying, selling, or transferring Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies from Coinbase. And on the right side, you'll see your portfolio, which just has a breakdown of the amounts in your Bitcoin wallet, your ethereum wallet your litecoin wallet your us dollar wallet or equivalent country's currency and above that you just have your total balance of all the wallets okay to the right of that you have your buy and sell tab which is where you'll go to buy and sell cryptocurrency from the desktop exchange so you can choose if you want to buy bitcoin ethereum or litecoin Let's say you want to buy a Bitcoin in this example. Underneath that, you'll see payment method. Here's where you can choose you want to buy with your bank account. With a credit or debit card, it's up to you. Now, if you want to buy with credit or debit card, the cryptocurrency is delivered instantly to your equipment account. But it is at a higher fee to 4% fee. But if you purchase from a bank account, it's a lower fee. 1.5% fee, but it takes four to five business days after you purchase with your bank account before the cryptocurrency is delivered to your Coinbase account. So you have a couple options there. Now let's say you want to buy with your credit card for instant delivery. Let's say 50 bucks worth of Bitcoin. You just type in 50 and it'll convert it instantly and you'll purchase the equivalent Bitcoin amount which is, as you can see, 0.019093837 Bitcoin. You will just click buy instantly and it would buy the Bitcoin instantly and deliver it to your Coinbase account. As you can see, there are limits where it says increase limits. When you first join, there are limits to buying with your bank account, with your credit card account, but these limits can be raised by verifying certain things and just by purchasing cryptocurrency. And again, the sale tab, very similar process. You can choose you want to withdraw your money to your bank account or to your PayPal account. And again, the PayPal account is instant withdrawal, but it's a 4% fee, whereas the bank account, it's four to five business days, but it's a 1.5% fee. So you just have to choose which one you want. And again, you just withdraw the certain amount you want, same way as you would buy. One more thing I want to show you guys is not only can you buy a specific US dollar amount, but you can also buy and sell a specific Bitcoin amount. So let's say you want to buy 0.1 Bitcoin. It will then convert it to the equivalent US dollar amount. So it works both ways. Conversion. Next up, we have these 10 request tab, which is where you're going to send or request cryptocurrency to your Coinbase account. Basically, you'll just in here, you'll go to your mobile wallet or desktop wallet, copay, bitpay to Jack's wallet, something like that. You'll get the receiving address. You'll copy that. And in here, you'll paste it. And once you paste it in here, you can then choose how much you want to send. So say you want to send to that particular wallet. You want to send, change this to US dollar. Let's say you want to send 25 bucks worth of Bitcoin. Underneath here, I'll show you how much you currently have in that Bitcoin wallet. And you can write an optional message. Transfer and you'll just send funds. It'll send the equivalent Bitcoin amount of 25 bucks. Conversely, you can also send if you want. To send Bitcoin, you can say, I want to send one fourth of a Bitcoin. It'll then send one fourth of a Bitcoin. And again, just send funds, and it's the same process to request funds. Again, just paste the address right in here. And again, you choose how much you want to request, whether it be Bitcoin, US dollar, or other cryptocurrency within the Coinbase app. 
Next up, you have the accounts tab. And this page basically is a breakdown of all your cryptocurrency wallets and Coinbase. As you can see, you have your coin wallet, your Ethereum wallet, your Litecoin wallet, your US dollar wallet, and the BTC vault. Now I won't go into too much detail on the BTC vault, but essentially it's just a further layer of security for your Bitcoins. If you transfer money from your Bitcoin wallet to your BCC vaults, once it's in the BTC vault, it's more secure because if someone ever hacks into your account or they have access to your account and they try to transfer out any Bitcoin, 48 hours will have to pass before the Bitcoin transfer is initiated, which gives you time to cancel the transfer. If it's in your Bitcoin wallet and someone hacks your account, it can be transferred instantly. So it's just a layer of security. But there's a further layer of security I'm going to go over in a minute that I like even more than the BTC bowl. Next up, you have the tools page. And again, this just shows addresses you may have sent and received from in the past. Any recurring transactions that you set up, any other reports, as well as history of your buying and selling cryptocurrency on Coinbase. The last one is the settings tab. This is where you'll set up your user profile, any changes to your personal preferences here and the security. This is the one I like a lot, security tab. Coinbase is a really secure platform, so I really appreciate that this is the one right here. Two-factor authentication. This is a very secure feature. You want to definitely set that up. You can set it up through your phone or also through an authenticator app such as the Google Authenticator app or the Off the Authenticator app. You definitely want to set that up as a level of security because if someone ever hacks, they gain access to your username, your email, and your password into your Coinbase account. They still won't be able to transfer any cryptocurrency without the second authentication factor, which would be your phone. So you definitely want to go into security under the settings tab, verify your phone and set up the Google Authenticator app or off the app to get that level of security. Next to that, you have payment methods, which is probably one of the first areas you'll be going to when you first create an account on Coinbase. Again, I've already set up my payment methods. I'm going to blur them out here for privacy reasons, but this is where it says add payment method. This is where you'll go to add your bank accounts, credit or debit cards, and your PayPal accounts to withdraw cryptocurrencies. The last thing I want to show you is up right here where it says invite friends. If you click on that, that's where you're going to get your referral link right here. And as you can see, if you invite a friend and they join Coinbase to your referral link, if they purchase 100 bucks worth of digital currency, cryptocurrency within their first 180 days, both they and you will receive 10 bucks worth of free Bitcoin to your Coinbase account. So it's a pretty cool incentive to spread the word. Share Coinbase with your friends so both of you can get rewarded with free Bitcoin. We were born to grow together.